Several months ago, I had to create a map that displayed push pins where various distributors were located. When the user placed a cursor over a push pin, a tooltip was supposed to show up with a shortened form of the contact information. My first thought was, hey, great, I can use that new image map control they put in ASP.NET 2.0. When I went to use it, I discovered quickly that you can't attach JavaScript to elements in the image map. You can only attach them to the parent control, which is nothing more than an image control with a collection of image map elements. So here's what I did. Basically ditched the whole image map idea and placed a, uh, an image control on the screen. And once I did that, I went into my code behind and put an image map in there. So you'll see um, I had to pull data out of a database, so you've got my, my SQL stuff there for that, which brings back a data reader. <clears throat> and then I came in here and created my map element and associated it with um, my image control on my screen. So I'm just writing this all by hand. And then I went through the loop here, and for each distributor in my database, I actually built out the area statement by hand. So I've got area, uh, I've got an href statement in here that actually uh, is going to do a, a post back to uh, call the distributor ID. Um, you notice that all I did was question mark distributor ID. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but you don't actually have to have ID equals blah, 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 blah if you only have uh, one element in your query string. You can just go after that query string directly, which is what I'm doing there. Then uh, the shape information, the coordinate information. And then down here you'll see is where I've got my, my mouse over statement. So on mouse over, and then I'm doing my show tooltip event with uh, you know, whatever information you need in there for your tooltip. Uh, mouse out to hide it, and then that ends the element. Okay, so I'm just going through and for each one of those uh, basically doing that type of information, and then come down here and close out the map element, and uh, that's all going in a label element, uh, what I put on the, uh, the screen here. So let's go back over here, and you'll see I've got my, my literal right there, um, where I'm actually stuffing the final JavaScript. Um, that's really about the only way that you can do it, uh, is, is just build out your maps by hand. Uh, I tried several other ways along the way, and uh, this one is actually the one that works out the best. So I hope that helps somebody who's been uh, trying to figure this out. There's really no way of getting into those elements and, and hooking those uh, attributes up directly. Um, you're really stuck doing it by hand.